Steve, another great machine here offered by the Engineering Technology Group, this Quasar UX500. We looked at a machine like this at AMB, didn't we, with you. What's the difference with this version? So the one we looked at previously, the AMB, was a single pallet version. This is the twin pallet version, so a real game changer for us and Quasar. And, and do you think there's going to be a demand for this, having that pallet changer? I'm assuming it will cost a little bit more money. Uh, is, that, is that expense worth it? Oh, 100%. You know, you take, take the same ethos as a, as a horizontal twin pallet. Um, same concept, but obviously we've got this on a five-axis model. Uh, tell me about the spindle you've got on these machines. I know it's a big, a big point that you make quite commonly. Yes, yeah, so it's a face and taper spindle, and it's the Maxia spindle. Okay, uh, fifteen thousand RPM is, is standard across these ranges. Um, we obviously can go up to eighteen and, and twenty-four thousand. And looking in this machine, I like the ergonomics, the way it's laid out. It looks like it's not only very accessible to load, but things like the swarf evacuation look like they're you know they're very convenient as well. Yeah, yeah, so they've taken the um, uh, the W star bed um, from the horizontal. Um, so it's a new style concept table for them, so we'll class it as a knuckle, knuckle type without the support. Um, is that a stable? Yeah, because obviously the, with a twin pallet variant you can't have the knuckle there to enable the, 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 the tool change, but in that table is a high torque motor um, which gives it extra extra drive and extra force. Uh, and what about the, the, the x-axis and the way the column's built on this machine? Is that different to a lot of uh, other five-axis offerings? Yeah, so the, the, the machine is built around quality and sturdiness, okay? So the power that the spindle has and the way that the, the y-axis is set out with a travelling traveling column machine. Would you say that these are one of the best five-axis out there on the market? Yeah, for the concept, for, the, for this market, is very, very niche, okay? Um, what is that market? Twin, twin pallet five axis, okay, so auto, automotive, um, aerospace, medium to high volume um, parts. So this is a classic type of application that we're seeing here, isn't it? Uh, maybe an aluminium component, lots of metal to be removed. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I mean, the power that the spindle's got, you, know, you don't just have to limit, uh, limit um, to al aluminium. Um, but again, um, it's targeting to the jobbing shops as well. Anybody with a production um, five axis component will, will benefit from, from this machine because the spindle will always be running. When are we going to be able to see one of these, Steve, at ETG in Wellsbourne in the UK? I think this takes six weeks on the water. So, so yeah, we will, uh, we'll have, well, we're looking to have the 500 and the 630 back at Wellsbourne.